In just three weeks' time, all these seats will be filled with more than 16,000 fans in Maple Leaf Gardens watching what has been billed as the most exciting hockey series of all time. Team Canada opened its training camp here at the Gardens today with a full squad, 35 of the best hockey players in the National Hockey League on hand. To a man, they've one thought in mind, to prove that the world's best hockey team is Canadian. Practice has started this afternoon and will continue twice daily until the first game on September 2nd in Montreal. This morning was reserved for light skating, posing for photographers and interviews. This afternoon for a full-scale workout. Okay, now move 10 as fast as you can. Okay. Halfway. One, two, two and a half, three, three, four and a half, four, five, six, five, seven, six, eight, seven, nine, ten. How many sticks do you prepare, uh, Phil? I'm going to prepare an awful lot. Uh, we've got a long trip to go, and uh, I'm going to get an awful lot of them ready for the, you know, for the series, especially in Russia. Of course, in Canada, it'll be all right. I can come here and prepare them, but I don't even know whether they got a rasp over there. <laughs> Harry made a comment, maybe somewhat facetiously, on, in the weekend, uh, saying that uh, the Russians get up at 6 o'clock in the morning uh, to run around their hotel to keep in shape, and some of you fellows are just coming in at that time. That's their fault for getting up that early. <laughs> I don't like it myself. Uh, now, they have different training programs. When I was over in Sweden, uh, I was over there, quite fortunately, doing a hockey school with Arne Stromberg, and... Uh, or Mats Lind, who plays for the Swedish national team, he says, Phil, he says, what do you guys do for training in the summertime? I said, oh, we sit around and drink beer and swim and fool around a little bit and have a boat and everything else and fish. He says, are you kidding me? He says, you drink beer? I says, yeah, I like a bottle of beer once in a while. And he said to me, wow, he says, uh, I swim 15 miles a day. And he says, I weight lift every day and press 200 pounds. I don't even know what that press, whatever that means. I don't even know what it means. I've never done it before in my life. And I said, well, I mean, every, every person has a different way of training. Uh, not only are we playing for ourselves, but for Canada and the National Hockey League. And uh, we're going to give it uh, 100%. How much uh, effect is it going to mean to this team not having Hull and Sanderson and uh, Cheevers? Well, certainly we'd like to have them. There's no doubt about it. But... Uh, that's up to the fellows that are running this, and I'm only glad that they invited me. And, uh, you know, we can't be worrying about something like this. We've got a job to do, and uh, we're going to do the best we can. Yeah, two weeks might be, not be enough time to get in real top shape. Uh, if we were going to play against a cl another club from our own league or something, it would be enough time. But the Russians are so far ahead of us. I think from what I heard, I don't know if this is true or not, that they'll be a third of the way through their schedule by the time we play them and that means they're going to be in pretty top form.